We have a really great episode, another great episode of uh, Sukkah Talks with Rabbi Andy. I am joined by, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's probably others that could be here also. Friends, if you have not met uh, the local BBG chapter, Edda Spear BBG, today you're going to meet some of its incredible leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we're going to focus on over the course of the next couple of minutes as we are um, as we are together for today's Sukkot. It's another beautiful day here in Greensboro. You can probably see it's also a sunny uh, early afternoon. So why don't you all just introduce yourselves? Uh, let's go around this way. Well, I'm Julia. I'm Ari. Lizzie. I'm Rachel. I'm Sally. I'm Kayla. And Kayla, you're the advisor for the local yeah. BBG chapter. Wow, that's amazing. How long have you been doing this for? Um, advising. This is my third year advising, second year with these gals. With these so, gals. They're amazing. And so they year are number one was under very different uh, circumstances, very different conditions. Yeah. Yeah, because of uh, the pandemic. But at least today we're able, all of us have been vaccinated, we're able to sit together. And that is just, you know, something that's great. Tell everybody a little bit about your different roles in the local B'nai B'rith. It used to be called B'nai B'rith Girls. That's what BBG stands for. But nowadays we just call it BBYO or BBG. So uh, Sally, why don't you start us off, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. So like Rabbi Annie said, I'm Sally Collada. I am the head of programming for Edisphere, um, which is formerly called Sig and Eat. Um, yeah, and you were, last year you were what? I was Nasia. Missy, I mean the president. Yeah. All right, very cool. Um, so I'm the head of communications, which is formerly known as Moscura. So I just make sure everybody's um, informed on upcoming programs and events. I'm Lizzie. I'm the CEO, which is president. And um, our job is kind of just to make sure that we get all of our programs out, all of our communications out, you know, try to bring everything together in a way. I'm Ari, and um, I'm I'm Gisbury, which is the treasurer, so I handle fundraising. I'm Julia. I'm Shlicha, which is like Judaic and social action stuff. I don't know if I told you all this before, but like I was very involved with AZA, with uh, BBYO growing up. And it's just so great to see that this is something that has continued. I, you know, For me, it was in South Florida, but I know there's a long history of involvement in BBYO here at Greensboro. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Like People will just come up to us and be like, I was in BBYO when I was a youth. I was in the SIA. Someone came up to my brother while we were doing services, and he was like, hello, Brother Olive. And he was like, I was I was Gadol of our chapter. It's just such a great community. Just everyone. Yeah, same, here, same here, I was the goal of my chapter, and a number of us went on for significant leadership positions within the Jewish world professionally and otherwise. So you guys are really carrying things out. Uh, great. Tell, tell us, little, maybe one of you wants to take, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to doing this year? In-person programming. Yeah. In-person yeah. programming. We miss each other so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But they did a great job last year over Zoom and up with the circumstances they were in just getting programs out and it was a struggle but it was yeah. a struggle we did it. We did it. but you guys did it. <laughs> and you did a great job one of the highlights I remember was we did a, a BBG Shabbat, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that was who was the one who was big on winning, or that's the winning that's the Pooh is, is the mascot of the that's chapter, that's right? And you all wrote like a, a, a winning the Pooh does Shabbat. But it was really infused with Jewish messaging. That was, you know, as we were still pulling together Friday night services over Zoom. I think at that point we had some of us were on the Bema and some of us were, yeah, oh gosh, that was uh, the technical challenges, but we did it. That was it really, was really cool. good. Yeah. We still have people come up to us and say, like, that was great Shabbat. You know? And we actually led a fundraiser uh, with Temple Emmanuel where we did Shabbat bags, which Ari can talk more about. Yeah. But um, going back to what Lizzie said, like, people would, in, like, the order form would say, like, I was in Edisphere or I was in SSPAZA. So it's really cool to see, like, the shift and, like, what's different and what's similar, like, through the generations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, Ari, you tell us a little bit about the Shabbat bags. So we had Shabbat bags last year, which had hala candles, um, grape juice. Yeah, there's grape juice, a recipe, a Jewish recipe. It was really fun. It was great for them. So on the one hand, it helps to raise a couple shekels for the, you know, for the chapter. 
But that seemed to me like that was secondary to, to what? To like the Shabbat message, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. And so, um, you know, I, one of the things I remember from, from BBYO uh, was like these conventions. How are they doing that this year? We just went to yeah. one. Um, so yeah. they had to split it off. So it was only like Miss Sia, Sydney, and Mara, which is kind of recruitment, could go. So the one we went to was more like learn about your position, learn how to do programming with BBYO. So it was more like an educational convention, but it was still just so weird to be with everyone like that you've seen on a screen. Yeah. Like the, we, you know, most people knew each other. Most people are seniors and bigger chapters when you're higher up on board. But it was just weird because it's like we've only met these people on Zoom, but we went in and we were like, oh my gosh, I know you. Right, right. So some of the connectivity has been there in digital means, but now to be together with people. Yeah, and I, I take it that that's going to be happening more and more often as we go forward. Yeah, there's another convention, I think, in a month or two. The end of this month. End of this month. November weekend. Uh -huh. And then there's another one soon after that. Now, yeah. is, is that for the whole region, or is that just for this, you know, the area near Greensboro? It's for the whole region. It's for the whole region. Oh, yeah. So that's Eastern, which is North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and part of Georgia. So it's a lot of Jewish teens to me. It's a great configuration. And tell me this, you know, over the years we've had some people who have been regional leaders in addition to being like you are, your chapter leaders. Are there, is there anyone now who's a regional leader in BBG or BBYO? Not in Greensboro. Alice Bank was just a regional leader. Right. He did amazing. Yeah. yeah. He was a so shout out to Alex. I hope you're watching today. <laughs> I think most of us just like making a change, I feel like, on a chapter level. Not saying that we won't do it in the future, yeah. but I feel like I'm making more of a difference in the chapter level versus the regional. Yeah. I mean, there's also, I know Ellie Millman said she just got accepted to this yeah. other program. She'll mm -hmm. be speaking at international convention in February. I'm not really sure exactly what she got accepted to, but she's also... Sure. Not only she's going beyond the regional level to an international level um, and making a difference in the movement, which oh, is very yeah. exciting. Yeah, and a lot of us are on like committees, doing yes. things task like regional forces, task yeah. forces. Like I was on like the committee. committee. I'm, I'm in the, the climate crisis task force. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I want people who are who are listening to this to really appreciate the level of leadership that you're looking at. Now, I would imagine that you're all in your senior year of high school. I mean, I, you know, I think that that's where most of the leadership comes from, right? No, you're all uh, you're all sophomores. <laughs> that's what's special about this chapter too, coming from Charlotte, where most of the leaders are juniors and seniors right. to come here. And they were all, I mean, when I first met Sally, I thought she was a junior in high school. Because I was, were a freshman. She was a freshman. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm honestly very impressed with how dedicated they are, how they've all just kind of, for me, it took time to like get into BBYO as a teen. Mm -hmm. It seems like they all just like dove right in and they're doing a great job. It's not that there aren't uh, seniors involved. In fact, one of the things Temple Emanuel prides ourselves on is involvement, really significant involvement through the end of high school, through the end of senior year. It's just that it's kind of the way that BBG is configured this year. And our class is just like so big. And you guys are amazing, just amazing. So I want to give thumbs up to everybody all around. What do you attribute some of this leadership connection to? I mean, some of it's got to come from home and from Temple, but talk to your own experiences. Um, I definitely say from having a bat mitzvah, like that really made me realize how strong of a leader I can be, like leading your own service, reading the Torah by yourself. That is a big thing. So. Right, right. What else? I don't know. Ari, I mean, you want to add to this? Um, same thing as Rachel, just learning how you can be a leader in your community. I would say, I mean, I've been going here since like I was literally barely walking. And so it's crazy to see how like some things, like I said, are very different and some things are the exact same. And I think it's a really cool position that we're in that we've been able to see Temple grow mm -hmm. as well as ourselves at the same time. Um, and so I've gotten a lot of my leadership skills just from being here simply, kind of growing up being on the Bima, um, learning new songs, being confident with my Jewish identity. So. Yeah, I would say I've got a lot of the leadership skills from like older people Older yeah, siblings. Definitely. I feel like they taught us like that they're like our chapter might be dying. You need to bring it up. Like yeah. you're yeah. you're in this position where you have like three more years in high school. Like you need to bring our chapter up, find new people to take over. And I don't know, that was like 
that's yeah. what really got me into yeah. it. I was like, okay, let's let's do this, guys. <laughs> are there are there uh, particular people you know that were involved that just you know? Leah yeah. Aronson. Yeah. I was going to say <laughs> Leah Aronson. I just surprised them. They um, she just came to visit <laughs> us, and I was like, I have a surprise for you guys. And she just ran <laughs> in, and she was like, what's up? So again, a shout out to Leah for the work yeah. that she did, especially with BBG over the years. You know, um, raise your hand if you are a madricha here on Sunday mornings, right? I mean, that's the other thing that I want the world to see. And because I've, all, I've often felt that just like somebody else, you probably, when you were growing up, for those of you who have been here forever today, and, and Lizzie, it's like you've been here forever yeah, I feel today. Like I've been here forever. You know, I mean, but you look down the hall and you see people wearing their, their BBYO shirts and you see them involved with Temple. And that makes a difference also, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, for sure. I think you guys are paying that back also, or at least paying it forward, because you got to think there's third graders now. Or I don't know, what, what grade level do you work with, Sally? I do first grade. First grade? Fifth grade. Fifth grade? Sixth grade. Sixth grade? Third grade. Third? Music. And music, right? So they're, they're interacting with people, and they see you as these role models. You better believe that this is what they're going to do many years from now when you'll be in college or in graduate school. What are the, some of the things that you're looking forward to, you know, in addition to BBG uh, in the coming years within the community or within your own lives Jewishly? I'm really excited to go to Israel Temple. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm planning to take a semester. A semester, right? Next term, so I'm, I'm beyond excited for that. And I can't yeah. wait to like learn there and then take it back to like our chapter mm -hmm. and Temple in general, yeah. like what I learned and just like the pride I'll have. I'm really excited for Lisa Hen because um, yes. using my voice is like something I'm really passionate about, so I'm excited to do that um, outside of Greensboro. Yeah, where we go to Washington and we learn about uh, public policy issues and Jewish values and then we advocate. It was wild. Last time we did La Taquin was like, I would say a month and a half before the shutdowns. And at that point we met Senator. Senator Harris yes, from yeah. uh, from sure. California. <laughs> like, well, you know, we like to think that that was the reason that she became the vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. This ever she met us. <laughs> well, actually, she met you. I mean, she was so for me. She said, "So you're who?" And I said, "Well, I'm a rabbi." She said, "That's great. Who are the who are the youth that you're with? The teens that you're with?" So well, they're high school students, you know, in our program. We're here. She's like, "Okay, I gotta meet them." Oh my gosh, that's it was, it was an insane experience. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. right. And yet last year, because you were, I think some of you were involved. There's only so much. I mean, like I think as you learned over Zoom, there's only so much that we can do, even though it matters. But there's something about being there in person. We're we're already signed up for this. Year. I'd say to any of the teens that are watching, please look for this program because my I'm just keeping all hope alive that we're going to be able to be in D.C. and to do the type of things that we did for many, many years. That's a good way to leave it. I mean, I've got so many other questions, but I'm just really grateful for you've already worked a full day today as, yeah. uh, as Madre Ho. We're coming to you in the afternoon on Sunday. So uh, I'm just really proud of the work that you do. And, uh, and the way that you involve yourself so seamlessly in our community here. Thank you so much on behalf of a very grateful community, on behalf of very grateful rabbis. Thank you. So ready on the count of three? Let's say Chag Sameach. Ready? One, two, three. Chag There you go, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs>